catch when you grab it, I guess, huh? here all alone today boys had dentist appointments their dad took them dropped them off on the way to work grammy took kirsta to her staple removal and go and pick the boys up after that so it's cold out i made these the other day figured it Give me something to drill and do while it's cold. We're at somewhat of a standstill up in the attic. We have one more of the ceiling to remove from the hallway. Um, but we can't really start on the drywall until after HVAC comes on the 18th. So we'll probably start working on the rock wall. We got to get the each sheet laid out, uh, drill the holes, put the um, cleats on, because all the actual cleats are actual uh, milled stones, different grabbing points. And then from the ceiling, there'll be uh, wooden like nunchucks, but they hook onto eye bolts in the ceiling and then wooden balls that they will have to grab and build up their hand strength for football and stuff. That should help. It'll be a neat room. Connor's already got his desk picked out and his chair that he wants, gaming chair and up some because man that cold weather just aggravates my foot in the worst way <sighs> all right earplugs back in connor has a fix i like these but they go in easier if they're a little wet the one big drawer for cabinet number one to assemble and then I got the refrigerator pull out 
tray and the under the sink pull out tray to assemble. I got the bottoms to put in all the rest of them. These two need the bottom screwed in. All the little drawers need the bottom screwed in. All the other ones I believe are done. So, then the only thing left, drawer-wise, is the, the bathroom linen and sewing cabinet. Uh, the bottom of the sewing cabinet, she wants just a door that will fold down to the floor. Because that's where her sewing machine will be sitting in there. I said we could build a drawer, but she didn't. She just wants to be able to sit it on the floor in there. Um, and above that will be a deep drawer. You know, I think it's like eight inches deep. That will slide out for her sewing stuff in there. And then above that is the the, the two uh, door cab doors that open this way. And it'll have two shelves in there for towels and wash rags and Stuff like that. So, um, that cabinet back there, they're made. The top one is where it needs to go. The bottom one, something funky in the floor there. Same thing in the kitchen. As you come in the door, there's a big gap from the wall to where the cabinet is. So, that all has to be addressed, shimmed up, and everything. Um, and then I'll Put some gray caulk around there you know match the color of the 80 20. um other than that we decided if we want upper shelving we were going to put upper cabinets but with the mini split coming out the end there i don't know how that's going to look um plus it means more 80 20. um I had it was all figured in 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 that but we expanded the the bed area and uh I was short on those upper cabinets. I mean, I originally had it all figured in, but I don't know. It just my figuring must have been off uh because I, I have scrap of the 8020, but I don't have a lot of scraps. So I don't know. It must have just been something I figured off. But now, if we decide we do that, we'll get more 8020. And we're just going to do like we did above the bed. We'll build an 8020 frame and then those cloth, those bins that we pulled out, we'll have them in there um, instead of actual doors with cabinet, you know. Thank mm -hmm. you.